Hello, I'm Sally Owen and I'm Assistant Principal for Progress and Inclusion here at Heart of England. As you start to research your potential secondary schools for your children, of course one of the key measures that you'll be looking at is the school's performance. You will no doubt be aware that over the past two years, our Year 11 and Year 13 cohorts have been assessed for their final results in very different ways to normal. Obviously, this means that their results are somewhat of an anomaly, um, but we still continue to have impressive results with both cohorts. In the summer of 2021, our GCSE students achieved 82% in English and maths at a grade four or above, and 62% of that cohort achieved in English and maths a grade five or above. In case you're not familiar with the new numerical format of grading, a grade four is the equivalent of a standard pass, and that would have been an old grade C. A grade five is what is considered a strong pass and would be the equivalent to a C plus or a B minus. Our process in arriving at these grades was robust and although the data won't be validated for the purposes of looking at trends, our 2021 outcomes accurately reflect our upward trend in improving outcomes for students at Heart of England. As you investigate different schools and their attainment, you may have encountered the term Progress 8. This was introduced to replace an old measure which included students who have achieved five results at grades A, tar, A star to C, including English and maths. This shows how students across all abilities have progressed compared to students with similar academic starting points across the country. Therefore, if a school has a score of zero, it means that students from similar starting points have made the expected progress. Since 2017, our Progress 8 score has consistently improved and is above zero. We hope to stretch and challenge all of our students, no matter their academic um, starting point. And this is again reflected in our results of the summer of 2021, where 30% of our students achieved at least one grade seven to nine, so the top end of the grading stru structure. Of course, we want all of our students to do their very best, but this doesn't just apply to their examinations. We are dedicated to preparing students also for the world that awaits them after school, what lies outside of the school gates and a world that is rapidly changing around them. In order to do this, we are dedicated to improving their literacy and reading skills. This is a key part to them accessing their success. And so reading is part of our everyday life here at Heart of England. This doesn't just apply to English classrooms, but also applies to tutor time as well, where twice a week students take part in what is called dear time. Dear stands for drop everything and read and is a dedicated time for students to engage with reading. Of course, some students might require extra support with their reading illiteracy, and so they are enrolled on a programme called Thinking Reading. This has had massive success, where the average progress in a student's reading age over one year of the programme is 4.1 years in terms of their reading age. Just as we wouldn't want any student to leave our school without being able to read, we also have the same ethos when it applies to their math skills. Often people might say, maths just isn't for me, my brain doesn't work that way. But we have the mantra that practice makes permanent. We want all of our students to have a positive and aspirational attitude towards maths. Heart of England is all about creating futures. So we don't linger on our past successes, Instead, we are continually looking forward to the future and striving for all of our students to achieve their very best.